אחד, שתיים, שלוש, ארבע. Once was a girl named Lorit, who had many problems reading Ivrit. One day while in class... Oh, class! Class, may I have your attention, please? I would like a volunteer to read this phrase that you see on the board. This phrase right here. Do I have a volunteer? I'm looking for volunteers. Dorit, please. A yeah, a yeah, oh, koha, bemit, oh, Dorit, you made three mistakes. Three mistakes. Now I'd like you to go and find someone to help you. Fix those mistakes. So Dorit went off looking for the answer to the teacher's questions. <laughs> hey, who are you? And what are you doing in the library? I'm the youngster, man. The youngster? Yeah. Maybe you can help me pronounce this word. I just cannot seem to read it. It looks like it says a uh, But my teacher said it was wrong. Maybe you can tell me how to pronounce it right. Um, why don't I get some of my friends to help you out, little missy? Great. <laughs> Hey! 
one, little girl. Can you sing me another song? About what? How to pronounce this word. I would love to. Koach. I'm still waiting. And the word with a chet and an ah. It may look like ha, but it's not. Cause at the end of a word, it's ach. At the end, it's ach. And a word with a chet and an ah. It may look like ha, but it's not. Cause at the end of the word, it's ach. At the end, it's ach. So in this word, you would pronounce it ko-ach, since it's a chet and an ah at the end of a word. Ko-ach. Let's review. That crazy bird didn't make much sense, did he? Well, remember. The chet and the ah at the end of the word is ach, not cha. This word here, ko-ach. Ko-ach. Ya-re-ach. ya -re Very good. Here's a tricky one, because at the beginning of the, this first word, we have cha, and at the end, we have ach. You see, at the end of the word, it's ach. At the beginning of the word, it's cha. Chag sameach. Chag sameach. Excellent. Luach. Luach. Here's a tricky one. Poteach. Poteach. Et yadecha. Et yadecha. Excellent. Yeah. Sometimes a vav says oo, and sometimes a vav says o. Oh. But there's another thing you should know: a vav can say bo, a vav can say bo. You know that sometimes a vav says oo, and sometimes a vav says o. Oh. But there's another thing you should know. A bob can say bow, 
A bob can say bo. Bo. <laughs> okay, I think I have this clear. See, this sonic over here, it already has a vowel. So it doesn't need another vowel. So this bob is pronounced bo. That's right. That's right. Let's see if I can read the whole word. Be mitz vot. Oh, that makes sense. Be mitz vot. <laughs> yeah. We got to do a little reviewing of this rule here. As you remember, if there's a vowel in the in the letter before the vowel, that vowel says vote. The meets vote. The meets vote. Remember, there is a schwa, there's a silent letter under, silent vowel under this letter, so that's vote. The meets vote. The meets vote. Now you try this one on your own. Avon. Very good. Avon. Avon. That's all for my review. As Miss Little Dorit finally finds all the answers to her problem, she comes to her teacher back in class knowing the rules of reading. Hi! Hi! Guess what, Laura? I got it! I finally learned how to read the words. Very you good. Were teaching me. Okay, first I'll read them, and then I'll tell you why they're pronounced that way. Oh. Okay. Can you help me? Hold on, I'm holding them up. Afo koach bemitzvot. Very, very good. Yay. I'm proud of you. Very good. Now, and I'll tell you the mistakes I made. First of all, you're not supposed to pronounce a yud when it doesn't have a vowel of its own. That's that why I said afo. Absolutely correct. And with this word, when a chet and an ah are at the end of a word, you pronounce it ach. Koach. And in this last word, since the tzadi already has its own vowel, then the vav doesn't have to be a vowel. It can say bo. Ben meets vot. Very, very good. I'm so proud of her. Thank you. you.